goodness, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, folks, I'm overexcited. Me, I'm excited to put a high and then I caught double. Show some love, man. Yeah. And, and I'll tell you why it's gone double, because I'm going to be meeting two amazing personalities today. Uh, the first one, I'll tell you how I met this guy. You know how I used to do stand up long ago? And I told a nice joke, and everybody was laughing. No, this guy called me. I haven't, we had not spoken before then, till that time. He called me and said, Oh, hi, KSM. I said, Oh, hi. I said, I'm Pacho from your Chami Kwame. He said, Oh, Chami Kwame. I said, I'm here. Show some love, man. <laughs> he called me to tell me he didn't think my joke was funny. Oh! What's your joke with my answer? Because I cracked some jokes about rappers. And how rapping is so easy, all you have to do is rhyme. And I did my own rap, or say, on Tiasekra. And that's how we met. He's a great guy. 22 years, this guy has been in the business. And he has shot a lot, man. And, and now his, his brand has expanded. He's doing so many things that we'll be talking about. And also, I'll be introducing somebody else. But I'll tell you in a while. Just stick around. But in the meantime, put your hands together. Show some love for Ochambe Kwame. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> yes, sir. What's your name? Oh. Who can't from his name? No, no, no. Man, can you hear? I would say a rapper said the idea to me, I don't see a rap. I don't see me a Ocheba. It's Ochina Mary Nipa. Who can't from? Oh, yes, yes, yes. It was so funny. Well, it wasn't funny. Say, I grown up. You can do it here. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. That's right. That's <laughs> right. 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 So welcome to the show, man. Oh, thank you, thank you. By the way, to start with, let me let me congratulate you, man. Thank you. Twenty-two years in this business, and you're easy a at all. At and all. not just twenty-two years in the business. Twenty-two years of staying relevant in the business. Yes. Put your hands together for me, man. <laughs> thank you. Wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How do you do it? I w it's 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 a lot of young, talented people running around and telling me that this thing doesn't fly. This is old school. Hmm. This is not how we, we, we do it anymore. It's a lot, of, a lot of research. So they keep updating you? Yes, a lot of updates. A lot of meetings, back to back, fighting with these young people saying, this is, this is how it's supposed to be done. They say, no, that's not how we used to do it. <laughs> we don't do it that anymore. So I think it's a, a lot of humbling myself mm. to the process. Opening yourself up Opening to myself up to the process that's kept me uh, relevant for a while. And then beyond, this for, is- For a while? My, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is myself and my team. Yeah. Beyond that, I also think that the, the ability to hang on to what is relevant in the society, mm. you know. Mm. So, um, so when I remember that when I started music, I just wanted to be heard. Mm -hmm. So I, I pushed everywhere. I, I spoke to every rich man in my neighborhood in mm. Kumasi. Please put money on me. We will not lose it. Mm. Then they put money on me and my music was played. Then I wanted to be seen. Mm. So now, please give me money to shoot a video. Mm. So I shot a video. Now then now, then yeah. I was seen for a while. But now I want to be felt. So want to be felt? I want to be felt. Because, you know, they say that we have five um, senses. The sense of touch, taste, smell, sight. All of that is just one. It's just a sense of feeling. Because if you don't feel light from your eye hitting an object, you can't see it. If some, something doesn't touch yeah. your, your eardrum, you can't hear it. That is still feeling. If someone doesn't touch your body, you can't feel, feel the person. Yeah. So yeah. now I want to be felt. I want to, I want to touch others. So if the whole career, so the, for the past 10 years of my career, has been about hepatitis, this, made in Ghana, yes. that, this, yes. this, that, that, climate change, since my life is dedicated to making other lives good, everybody takes my life seriously mm. because I am the one pushing their, yeah, their yeah, well-being. Yes. Exactly. Yes, so yes, yes. I think that beyond professionalism mm. and creativity, mm. using myself as a scapegoat for everybody else is one of the major reasons why I'm still here. <laughs> that, that is so true. Because you're talking about now letting people feel you. Exactly. So almost every vital aspect that people can connect to. Yes. Or Chami Kwame is there. Yes. Hepatitis, you grew that campaign. Yes. And now, now it's become very popular. Very popular. Yes. And you have triggered of Made in Ghana. Yes. You started with an album, Made in Ghana. Yes. And 
It's about Ghana. It's about celebrating Ghana. what we have. Yes, it's about it's about eating what we have, mm -hmm. wearing what we have, understanding what we have, researching what we have, and then building, you know, catching up from where we broke off mm. and jumping off, you know, trying to bring back. All the amazing things that we used to do mm. through the music, through the conversations, through the signals, through the sets, through the music videos, through, you know, through engagements, trying to now reconnect, you know, mm. recap on, on national pride so that we can begin to feel that a free baby. Yes. And since we are of a place, building on that, building from that place is going to be easy, you know. So that's, mm. that's what I'm mm. doing now. So every campaign that I carry, I use the music as the first point, you know, because that's where my fans aggregate to or congregate to, to, to feel. You know, so I recorded an album, a live, high life album mm. that goes to every region. So mm. when we go to, say, Volta region, we take a popular artist, Feli Luna, from Volta region. Oh, they will record wow. a high life song that has the Voltarian oh, vibe. Uh, so we we'll do a song with Atongo Zimba for Bolgatanga. We we'll do one with Wiyala for Wa. We we'll do one with um, Efri Ye for Ashanti. We we'll do one with... You know, so we've recorded different, different, different songs, wow. mimicking the vibe of, of every region, region. Of every region. And I recorded it before the regions became more than 10. You know? okay. so, so when you get the album, it's like 10 songs, high life, recorded live, well produced, that discusses Ghanaian philosophies of marriage, child naming, wow. you know, different, 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 different things about Ghana. Like really light that you, you can. And then each of the videos, we also try to go to the the region to record to record the videos of get the, the actual feel yes of the, the size and sides size of, the of the people unique things they do their food you know so the album is available online everywhere spotify amazon everywhere everywhere um and you can find it at um koala or wild gecko okay. or any shop shop that okay. you walk to but if you are an online person made in ghana is very very available everywhere it's a really exciting, you know, time for me right now. I'm yeah. being, I, I'm getting the opportunity to express myself. Yes. Thank you so much, and this yeah, yeah. ambassador for the Made in Ghana campaign. Yes, yes. Thanks a lot, man. And you did so well. Thank you. And, and, and I believe you are now the ambassador for the Made, made in Ghana campaign. Yes, yes. I'm, I, I was made the ambassador for the Made in Ghana campaign by the Ministry of Trade. I was made ambassador for Made in Ghana campaign by the Ghana Commission for Arts and Culture mm. and then also for Ministry of um, um, Culture and Tourism. You know, mm. so all these three agencies or ministries and agency accepts and acknowledges that I will be able to bring a certain light to it. So when I wake up in the morning, it's, you know, power is a two-edged sword. Mm -hmm. One side is fun, the other side is responsibility. Mm -hmm. So when I wake up in the morning, how do I you know, go out there, what, what, what do I curate? What do I do to make sure that all these three great institutions have put me at the forefront? How do I make myself relevant, you know? Mm -hmm. So on social media, mm -hmm. there's something I do. Every day, I have a Made in Ghana Lady of the Week. I have Made in Ghana Food of the Week, Made in Ghana Couple of the Week, Made in Ghana Child of the Week. So every day I have something that's, um, it's not about me, that's about other people, which brings us back to who we are, the signals, the totems, everything. So um, all the things, we are explaining funerals on, on my page, we are mm, explaining parties, mm, mm. we are trying to tell people that it's important to do a so and so and sign so so again when um, during the, the naming ceremony, the ceremony because it's yeah. not for the child, it's for the onlookers mm, to remind them mm. that we are going to be hot, be hot, because it is irrelevant to the child who is not mm. even one. Yes. But the onlookers are reminding them. So they are them. the ones we are reminding them to e learn. Ex what is there to learn? Exactly. You know, so we are using social media, especially on social media, because on Instagram, I have about 1.3 million followers that wow. every day I bombard them with made in Ghana philosophies. I'm bringing them. Um, we are, we are looking at the concept of religion, we are looking at leadership, we are looking at buy rice, buy this clothes, you know, so th that, that is the, that's the campaign that we are working mm -hmm, on. And it's, it's mm -hmm. so far, it's been exciting. Mm. Yes. Because what, what you have been able to do is to make that a whole idea cool. Exactly. What I'm saying is that yes. something that we would have otherwise considered a kick exactly. during a naming ceremony. Now, okay, it says it's cool, so it's cool. We and have to learn about it. Yes, you have to. <laughs> and then sometimes in the evenings when I do, um, I have heritage nights with my children where I teach them about them. Um, I go and do it like a week research 
and I come to teach them about where we from and then I give them a 2,000 year lineage through the Sahara to wow. Egypt to wow. Ethiopia to Israel and then I, when I whenever we go live like people get really 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 excited and people are saying oh I didn't know it was like that I didn't you know so all of these things plus all the other great works that people like CTFM and the ministry and the um, commission all the other great works that everybody else is doing is coming together and I am thinking that 2020 Ghana is going to have an amazing made in Ghana 2020. Put us together. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I was talking to somebody, you know, when, when I when I knew when I when I heard you were coming to join us here, and he said what fascinates him is your mind. Oh, you know, you. he says you 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 deep in terms of thinking. Wow. In terms of Africa, what is culturally relevant, and and what inspires that? Hmm, I think that once you get to a point where the ignorance in you is screaming. You pick up a book or you get an elderly person to ask a question. I think that for a man, the difference between a man and a monkey is that we think, we plan, we can query, we can ask questions. You know, so I got to a point where I felt so ignorant. I, I, I got to a point where I didn't understand him because I read about Mansa Musa and I saw he was worth $4.2 billion dollars. At the time when he lived, which is not too long ago, in Ghana, he was the richest man on earth. He knew how to mine his gold. He knew how to mine his oil. And whenever he dashed money, there was inflation in the world from France to Arab. So I'm thinking, if this is my forefather, mm. why am I here? So mm. I got to a point where there was a big gap <clears throat> between who we have been yes. and who we are, now. we are now so yeah. i'm just constantly asking questions i'm querying everything i'm yeah. querying the bible yeah. i'm querying the quran i'm querying my <laughs> ancestors i'm querying everything you run me off a, 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 is it avram ben moshe yes he's introduced the whole thing about let's question things let us question things let us question i mean because once you get on the path that you do not know then you want to know because unless you know, you are not mm, a man, mm, you know. So mm. if you, you begin to think that the ignorance that you live in is bliss, mm, and because mm. of this ignorance, you are going to live for 75 years and not pass on anything. It, it, but it is totally different from when you want to overcome your ignorance. Mm. You know, the other time my son was asking me, Daddy, what's the biggest problem in the world? I said, I asked him to give me two days. <laughs> and I went to think of it. I, then I realized it's not money, it is ignorance. You know, so if we all of us, because no matter how intelligent you are, the biggest professor in the world, his knowledge to the knowledge in the universe is this big. Yeah. And yeah. outside this circumference, yeah. it's all the knowledge in the world. You know, so, and unfortunately for us, we have the internet. The things that Harvard graduates and Oxford graduates used to be privy to, it's available on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> for free. That's true. You know, That's you true. just buy data. And then instead of going on there to watch porn, you can Google Diop, you know, or you can, you can, you can Google about how the Africans used to live 7,000 years ago. Yeah. You, you know, you yeah. can Google about the Negroids, the Neanderthals, where the life come from, you know. So all these things, plus constantly talking to elders and humbling myself to the process and investigating my environment, mm. I think is helping me get a much deeper understand it. but the more i seek the more i realize i don't know the more you know, the more you realize how little you know exactly exactly <laughs> isn't that the problem in the world though because we all think we know and that's so sad exactly. you know and people will be arguing with strength vim vigor and it's based on ignorance it's true it's true and then you know for example sometimes we we, we talk about about the concept of god and i think that is one of the major problems that we Africans we have that is so limiting that we think or so in if as I see so I'm with the uh, uh, you know yeah. so we are living for 75 60 years there we go. and then we go to a much better place but then you ask yourself how do you know that you have not lived already and this is your heaven and you are spoiling it for everybody <laughs> <laughs> you know so we the way that we perceive how we live on earth our forefathers didn't perceive it like this they they really wanted to live they have the the saying that we do not inherit this earth from our ancestors we rent it from our unborn children mm. so in that sense we take good care of, at least if you are not going to 
make it a better place, make the soil better or plant more trees or make sure that we respect oxygen and respect the rivers and respect the trees and the, and the plantations. At least we leave it like the way we found it. Mm, mm. But because of the way we, we, we are ignorant about how our forefathers lived, we just want, and because of the new iPhone or new shoe or a new car, we just ruin the leads. You know, we <laughs> cut down all the trees and we, yeah. we mine all the rivers yeah. and we destroy everything. Yeah. Because we think that getting a new iPhone will give us that new peace that we are looking for. But it, our forefathers didn't live like that. You know, so we've shown through our activities over the years that we have no respect for our grandchildren, how they will live, where they will live, whether they will get water. You know, by 2050, it will be 9 billion of us. And we are going to fight over air, fight over water, and none of us is interested. You know, it's, it, it is really yeah. a strange thing. Yeah, yeah. We don't think in terms of generation. <laughs> yeah, put your hands together. It's for me, what I'll do while I live. Yes. What about my children? My children, children ah, they'll take care of themselves. Exactly. That's so sad, though. Exactly. That's so sad. That's it's, you know, uh, I also, also bring it back to the God concept, the Europeanized God concept mm -hmm. again. The African gods, the, the African god was Onyankopon, who is in heaven, who is married to Asase. Yeah. So 50 50. And they give birth to us, you know, from Osiris, Isis, and Horus. You know, so we have neglected the feminine aspect of it. And then we are so concentrated on machismo. I'm a man. The woman is beneath me. I'm a man. I take the money. You know, so we have, we have lost consciousness of femininity mm. or feminine to the point that everybody, even the women now wants to be men. Even, even though from the way we used to live, our women, most of the gods that our forefathers worshipped were women. We, we have reverence for Asase. Most of the rivers were named after women. You know, we wrote the names of women who made history in our history book. We sang songs about, about women. We have always respected our women. But the concept of Europeanized philosophies and religions have come to er or eradicate all that. All of that. Yeah. And because of that, we have no respect for the assassin, which is the woman. Mm. And it is out of this woman that we get food. It's out of this woman that we get love. It's out of this woman that we get nurturing. We get everything from the woman. <laughs> you, you, you know, so it is the, the Sankofa um, totem. It's a very, very interesting totem that I believe that we need to pay attention to. We need to, to, we need to show it to children in, 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 uh, from class one. And try to let them understand that ye free baby, something has happened. What is it? How can we move on? Because now the Europeans who we are competing with, they are making exoskeletons and they are thinking of ways that they are going to combine it with the human brain so that the human being can work harder. Where do we sit in this grand scheme of equation? You know, big uh, question. Exactly. Yes. Yes, yes. Where yes. do we sit in it? Yeah. Because we're still stuck in the in, in that mood, you know, I'm sorry, that extreme spirituality exactly. based on negativity and how and how and how and yo, every damn thing is negative. Every, As, every <laughs> damn thing is negative. Every, you know? Everything is negative. Yeah. Everything that we Africans are introduced to, we say it is <coughs> bad. We will bring, they will bring internet, we say it is bad. They will bring Facebook, yeah. they say it is it almost prostitution. The, the internet, the internet is, is not a crisis. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. You know, so we need to get back to that point yeah. where we Africans live the way the Africans live. Will we ever, though? I mean, it's nicely said we talk about it. Will we? Well, maybe, but in the foreseeable future? We, everybody must play a role. So the musicians must play a role. The presenters must play a role. The pastors must play a role. Yeah. Then but they're not ch aware. Church are you sure? I think they are aware. They are just afraid. You think it, they are aware? Yes, I think, I think everybody. Once you are born, you see, the brain has four, four main parts. There's the frontal cortex, the back, there's this one. The most important part of the brain is the memory. And when, once you are born, you know where your mother's nipples are. It's, it is biological. Yeah. In the same way, we have always, we, 
our the, the memory of our great 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 grandfathers lives in us already so we know that we are africans that's why when you are born the first time you eat fufu you know it tastes better than sorry like <laughs> you know, so, <laughs> so we, we know who we are we are just afraid really we are, yes we are afraid to wear our locks we are afraid to think the way I'm thinking. I'm telling you, if my mom hears this interview, she will go to church and pray for me that I am mad. Yes. yes, yes. <laughs> you know. Uh -huh. So we are afraid of who God, God says we are. You know, royal, a people of design, a people of planning, a people that have a meaning for every single you thing don't that we do. You really believe that we have that capacity. That's the saddest part for me. Exactly. You know that I don't like blaming Europeans too much yes. for our problems. Yes. Because we as leaders now are also continuing yes. what yes. they left. Yes. But they did something to us. Mm -hmm. So for all those years that they traded with us, they eliminated the woman from the from the concept for all those years that they came to take people and rape women and steal people and go and let them work for 300 years for free and come back and colonize us and tell us that um, the, the love for money is wrong and that they take the gold and we worship the god you know so we all those worshiping things. God to go to heaven where the streets are paved with gold. Exactly. In the meantime, you poverty. Exactly. You so know, they, <laughs> you understand? So they will come and take it for their industrial revolution yeah. and then develop. We have even forgotten how to mine it yeah. to the point that we give it to somebody to come and mine, then gives us a 10%. The oil is, the fossil oil is still here at Akrade. We've forgotten how to mine it. You know, so we need to. I don't think that it will be possible for we Africans to go forward if you don't have these conversations. Yes, yes, yes. So this, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're having these conversations, yes. and this conversation is going to continue. I'm going to take a short commercial break. When I ba come back, I introduce another musician who I have told him, this is a guy you have to meet. Yes, yes, so yes. He'll, be, he'll be meeting you first time live on uh, national TV, yes. and then we'll carry on with the conversation. Mm -hmm. Stick around. <laughs> OK, the house. We'll be right back. I fear go I bet to yes, you Afi, afi, she a ba, come to ye. Afi, she a ba, afi, afi, she a ba, come to ye. 